Hi, Andy here with another quick video. Uh, this time I've been asked about how to capture emails and pass them through to MailChimp. Uh, specifically when someone's filling in the form for something else, how can you also add that email address to your newsletter provider uh, and not fall foul of GDPR? So I'm gonna explain that as we go here. So here we have a simple page with a form on it. Now this form is built using Gravity Forms. Uh, I've got other videos on that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna link this email account here to MailChimp so that when someone fills in the form, we also get them added to our newsletter. So first of all, we're gonna go into the dashboard and we're gonna to go to Forms and we've got our test form here. Okay, so here's our email field. Now, what I need to do up here, um, we need to add the MailChimp section to this menu. Now, if it's not already installed, we can go to add-ons. And there's loads and loads of stuff here. I'm gonna use the MailChimp one, but there are things for constant contact and I'm sure there's more here when I spot them, eye contact, and all the popular email providers. So you basically install the one that relates to the software that you use and follow similar guidelines. Okay, so I'm gonna click install and that's gonna activate MailChimp. And now what this will do when I go into, fo into my fall and edit, I'll now have an extra section in the menu here. So I need to link the two together. So to do that, I'm gonna go into MailChimp and it's telling me I need to configure MailChimp. So we're gonna do that. And it's asking for an API key. Now API stands for Application Programmers Interface. And basically it's kind of like a password that allows two pieces of software, two websites, something like that to talk to each other. Now to get that, I'm gonna go into MailChimp and I'm gonna to go to extras and API keys. And I'm gonna copy this API key here. Now you're gonna find that's all blurred out with a bit of luck, but this code basically allows me to let the two pieces of software communicate. So first of all, I'm gonna take it back here. I'm gonna paste that in and I'm gonna click update settings. And we've got a tick there at the end, so that means that they're talking to each other nicely. So now I'm gonna go back to my form and I'm gonna edit my test form. And before I actually link this together, um, GDPR basically says that you need people's consent. So the fact that they're sending you an email doesn't mean that they've given you consent to sign up for your newsletter at the same time. So we need to give them the option of sending you the form without actually getting added to your newsletter. So I'm gonna do that by adding a checkbox. So that's appeared down at the bottom. I'm gonna drag it up there next to email. And let's change the settings on there. Let's Yes, please. Would you like to join our news? Okay, so now we've added this question in, we need to link it all together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to settings and MailChimp. Let's save beforehand. I'm going to go to settings and MailChimp. I'm going to add a new feed. Now this is just the term that MailChimp uses to connect them together. And we're going to connect it to this list. And it's giving me some options to fill in. So I'm going to say with this form, that's the email address. Match up the names. Now, double opt-in is where someone receives an email and they have to click in a link. Um, you can leave that set. It's probably the safest way to do it. Depending on what you're doing, you can actually opt out of that. The key bit I'm looking at here is enable conditional. So I'm gonna tick that 
And what we're going to say is process this feed if all of the following match. So process this feed only if would you like to join our newsletter is yes, please. So update the settings. So what this basically means is with our form, if we go back and look at it now. So with our form, we've got this extra option down here. And if someone ticks yes, please, then the email address will get passed over to MailChimp. If they don't tick yes, please, you will still get the form details sent over to you, but they won't get added to MailChimp. So there you go. That's a simple form connected to MailChimp so that emails get shared amongst them. So hopefully that was useful. Um, anything else you need, any other issues like that, uh, just ping me a message and you'll find me at andy-powell.net. Speak to you again soon.